Just 200 years ago, California was thriving in a way that we can't even imagine. When we look outside today, what we're really seeing are ecosystems that are a shadow of what they were just two human lifetimes ago. We have exceeded so many ecological tipping points with global climate change. It's a symptom, not a cause of our problems. It's a symptom of a lack of connection to nature. There is a huge disconnect between the people and the land, but Without the land, we wouldn't have food, we wouldn't have shelter, we wouldn't have life. Consider how all of these things help support our lives and the people that we love. If we are going to regenerate the natural world and move into the kind of future we all want, most fundamentally, we need to come to understand that we are not apart from nature, but a part of nature that nature is us. You can't separate us from nature. You can't separate nature from us. Empathy is important because without it, we aren't able to understand how we all are interconnected. And that, I do not say lightly, we are all interconnected. You are not disconnected from the life around you, even something as small as a cockroach and an ant shares this same planet with you. They are our relatives, you know, the trees, the grasses, the shrubs, the oceans, the waters, the rivers, the creeks, the streams, what's under the ground. Those are all our relatives. And the same way that we want to take care of our children, that's the responsibility that we have to our ecosystem, to our relatives. It really comes to finding that relationship of coexistence. If we're going to be a voice of advocacy, we have to maintain the connection. There's hundreds of other people that are there with us doing the work, and everybody's there for the same purpose. That's really important to get big things done. We are connected to these spaces, and we always will be, and we'll be looking out for them, and we really need help from the larger community. We have to come together as human beings. Human impact is always this negative, horrible scarring of the planet. But human impact also meant the native human impact that we had on our land before colonization. It meant using our intelligence and using our compassion to actually help the earth. When there's native conversations that are leading these things, then we see those beautiful landscapes. Then we see reciprocity. We see this overabundance within California. So this is arguably the most exciting moment in human history where we get a chance to shift our direction and partner with the natural world. We're looking to regenerate ourselves, not just the earth. It's a package deal. It takes all of us and all of our expertise to help protect and restore and regenerate California.